Right now, the Red Cross faces a severe shortage of blood donations. So to date, that's about 6,000 blood drives across the country that have been canceled. And that's resulted in about 200,000 blood donations that have gone uncollected for patients in need. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs a blood transfusion. And those needs aren't going to diminish during the coronavirus outbreak. So that, that patient could be a car accident victim. It could be a sickle cell patient, someone battling cancer, or even a mother who's having childbirth complications. So we want to ensure that blood is readily available on hospital shelves for people who need it. I think that I have an easier access to the Red Cross, that there are a lot of people who just can't, if they normally get, get out for some reason or another. Um, I am slightly younger than most of the people I see here, so I think if you're older, you need to self-quarantine more right now. Uh, and so I think we're in a crisis, so usually giving blood's a good idea. This is truly an unprecedented situation. The number of blood drive cancellations, we have not seen like this before across the country and with an end date that's unknown. I didn't want to take a bus to get here. I don't drive, I don't have a car. I didn't want to get an Uber. I didn't want to use one of the car, share, car sharing cars, so I walked 45 minutes to here. I have a concern that the overall capacity of the healthcare system is going to go down because as healthcare workers are exposed to this, they're going to get infected and they're going to be taken out of circulation. So I think that that curve actually needs to be even flatter than we think it needs to be. So um, that's my overall concern is why we've got to all do what we can to stay out of the mix, but also if we can help in a way, which I'm not a medical doctor, but I can at least donate this asset. We certainly understand that people are hesitant to leave home right now, but want to emphasize that we have added additional safety precautions at our blood drives to ensure the safety of our, our staff and our donors. So at our blood drives, we have a number of new uh, protocols that includes checking their temperature before they come into the blood drive. And that's not just our donors, that's also our staff. We have hand sanitizer available before, during, and throughout the drive. We also are wiping down surfaces even more vigilantly than we were before. So we're doing as much as we can to ensure it's a safe environment for our staff and our donors. It is important to emphasize that the coronavirus is not transmitted via blood transfusion. So people can go to redcrossblood.org, they can use our Red Cross Blood donor app, or they can call us at 1-800-RED-CROSS. And we are strongly urging people right now to make an appointment because we want to manage that donor flow so we can ensure we're following social distancing at our blood drives between our donors. I'm healthy right now. I'm not feeling sick at all. Um, I live right down the street, um, and this, I'm doing my part. Um, anything really that I can do to help in any way possible. It's so small, but it's so big in the grand scheme of things.